Benvenuti a tutti. My name is Dave Anthony Setto Ducati, and welcome to another edition of Italian America Long Island. Tonight, our show is devoted to displaying some of the greatest Italian paintings of all time. If you are a student of fine art, you know how important the Italian Renaissance is to the history of art. So sit back and enjoy these great images. By the way, I hope you enjoy the soundtrack. It's taken from my award-winning CD called My Guitar, and I'm proud to say they're all my own original compositions. So let's get started on our journey through art history. Botticelli's Birth of Venus is one of the most famous paintings in the world, and it is an icon of the Italian Renaissance. Bellini was born in Venice, and he served as the conservator of artwork for the doge, or the ruler of the city-state of Venice. Michelangelo Marisi Caravaggio was born in 1571 and died in 1610. A violent man, he fled Milan after being sentenced to death for murder. Many consider Leonardo da Vinci the ultimate Renaissance genius. Although he is considered one of the world's greatest painters, Michelangelo thought sculpture a much higher art than painting. Raphael was a master of the Florentine school. This is his most famous work. Tintoretto painted at a very fast pace. He was nicknamed Il Furioso. Mark Twain, the famous American author, called this painting the foulest, most obscene painting in the world.
Masaccio is considered the first great painter of the Quattrocento period of the Renaissance. This is a mural that appears on a wall in the Brancacci Chapel. Del Verrocchio's real name was Diccioni. He was called Verrocchio, which means true eye in Italian. Botticelli belonged to the Florentine school under the patronage of Lorenzo de' Medici. This work is part of the Sistine Chapel. It took Michelangelo four years to complete. This painting sold in 2017 for $450.3 million in New York City. Botticelli became a follower of the religious zealot Savonarola and gave up painting. He fell into extreme poverty, but was saved by his friends. This is probably the most famous Italian painting in all the world. It is insured for over $800 million. Michelangelo was known as Il Divino in his lifetime, and he had a very, very high reputation among his peers. Caravaggio often painted violent scenes of torture, struggles, and death. This is the first reclining nude woman in Western painting. The reclining female nude became a distinctive feature of Venetian painting. Tiziano Vicelli, known as Titian in English, was one of the most versatile painters, adept with portraits, landscapes, and mythological and religious subjects. Bellini had a lot of religious themes in his painting. St. Francis is the patron saint of Italy. Masaccio died at age 26, and little is known of his death or his life.
warm colors of this famous piece suggest the influence of Titian. This is another religiously themed painting by Bellini, who was born in Venice and worked closely with his brother Gentile. This is another icon of the Renaissance, and it's often discussed alongside Botticelli's other painting, The Birth of Venus. This is a famous painting by Del Verrocchio. Del Verrocchio had a very famous student, Leonardo da Vinci. Knowing that he was a sculptor, Michelangelo's enemies had arranged for him to paint the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, hoping to embarrass him. Instead, it turned out that this became one of the greatest artworks of Western civilization. This portrait of a nobleman was done by Raphael, who was born in 1483 and died in 1520. This is considered one of Titian's greatest works, and it hangs in the National Gallery in London, England.
portrait by Ghirlandaio is also very famous. Ghirlandaio means garland maker, a nickname he got while working for his father who was a goldsmith. Bellini is buried in the Basilica di San Giovanni e Paolo, the traditional burial place of the Doges of Venice. Caravaggio is known for his wonderful use of chiaroscuro, which means the interplay of light and dark. This very famous work by da Vinci is a fresco, which is a mural painted into fresh plaster and affixed to a wall permanently. This is Tintoretto. He was born Jacopo Comin in 1518. This is perhaps the best known work of Gerlandeo who is credited as being the teacher of Michelangelo. These are two of Della Francesca's most famous works. He was inspired by Masaccio. Tintoretto painted this in 1565 and was paid a sum of 250 ducats. The hair color, Titian Red, derives from his use of reddish-brown hair on his subject. Caravaggio liked to work from live models and paint directly onto the canvas. Titian painted over 30 versions of this subject.
It is believed that Leonardo da Vinci painted a small portion of this picture. Bellini often painted religious subjects until he became curator of art for the Doge in Venice. Caravaggio painted in Rome, Naples, Malta, and Sicily from 1590 to 1610. When he was young, Gerlandeo would make portraits of customers as they came into his father's shop. This portrait of a man in red chalk is widely, though not universally, accepted as the self-portrait of Leonardo da Vinci. It is thought that Leonardo drew this self-portrait at about the age of 60. The Medusa is a wonderful example of Caravaggio's focus on physiognomic or facial expression in his painting. Piero di Cosimo de' Medici was the de facto ruler of Florence from 1464 to 1469. This technically masterful painting was lost and recently discovered in Ireland. This piece hangs in the Gallery dell'Accademia. Centuries later, Rembrandt borrowed the composition of this painting for his own portraits. The ceiling of the Sistine Chapel contains several scenes from the Old Testament, beginning with the creation of the world and ending at the story of Noah and the Flood. This fresco is on a wall in the Vatican Palace. Now let's look at some modern masters of Italian painting. De Chirico founded the Scuola Metafisica art movement which profoundly influenced surrealists such as Salvador Dali. Modigliani's style of elongated faces was appreciated only after his death. Gino Severini died in 1966 and was a leader of the Futurist movement. Modigliani was influenced by Toulouse-Lautrec and Paul Cézanne. The 
Chirico is best known for his work between 1909 and 1919. Carra was not only a painter, but also a writer of art books and a teacher. Malerba was born in Milan. His first exhibit was in 1906. Pucci was a founder of the Novecento art movement in Italy. Lucio Amitrano lives on the Isle of Capri and is known for his paintings of beautiful women. Leonardo du Trevilla died in 1975 and was born in Venice. He was also a member of the Novecento movement. I certainly hope that you have enjoyed this presentation of Italian art. You may find all episodes of this series on YouTube. Search for Italian America Long Island. Thank you so much for watching.